My role as curator really is bringing the past into the present. I work with Claire Malcolm, the designer, um, and help her influence um, her collection with archive pieces. I've always had an interest in vintage film of the 30s, 40s and 50s. I've always managed to marry film and fashion and Savaro really is a, is a great mecca for menswear so this is the place to be really. When I joined Hardy Amis uh, my great desire was trying to rekindle relationships the house had in the past and that the biggest relationship we had was dressing the House of Windsor so it'd be a great desire of mine to dress Prince William or Prince Harry um, and I hope I can make that happen. Over, over the years I've been working in fashion, I've dressed many people in Los Angeles. I worked on the PR for the Oscars for many years. And so I dressed people like Jack Nicholson, um, years ago Gene Kelly, the dancer Gene Kelly. And since being here on Savaro, people like Freddie Windsor, Lord Freddie Windsor, and Stephen Fry, who's a great friend. I always really still get a buzz walking down Savile Row. I think it's the only place really in London where you see old duffers who have been coming here to get their suits forever, almost hand in hand with rock stars and pop stars. I think it's a great mix of, um, of international fashion, but also a great slant on great Britishness. Um, and it's always been a great mecca for menswear. I think there's always going to be a several room. There's a market for it. People want to look good. Men want to look good, dapper, elegant. And there's nowhere else in the world. Savaro is the place to come.